Man, it's a bit chilly. Just come into this little area here. There's a few boats in here because the wind's coming from the southeast. And you've got a little bit of protection here where it comes out a bit and then you've obviously got this massive island here protecting protecting you from the wind as well so I think I'm gonna uh, anchor up here for the night I might creep in a little bit further and um, yeah get out get out of this wetsuit put some clothes on and organize the boat a little bit I'm gonna be moving everything in here up onto the front deck and then I'm gonna roll my sleeping bag out a little bit later on and yeah, hopefully have a good night's sleep. Now all I have to do is figure out how I'm going to cook this fish because I didn't bring any crumbs or anything. What I did bring was um, I brought some corn chips for ceviche. So I might, might crunch them up and then use them as a crumb and cook them in some oil. We'll see how that goes. Tortilla strips, white corn chips. We'll see how we go. Yo, that smells so good. That looks good, man. That's come out so good. Where's that salt? It smells unreal. Wish you guys could smell this.
Oh yeah. Also a little bit of lime juice. And we're on here. Woo hoo hoo! Flathead tacos out on the boat. And I'm pretty darn excited. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but that looks good to me. Let's dig in. Always a mission one handed, but I'm gonna give it a crack. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mmm. That is fresh as it gets. It's got some flavor. This is one of the best tacos I've ever eaten. Not even kidding. That's ridiculous. All right. Doesn't get much better than that. That's the setup. Got the mat underneath, just like a little yoga mat. And then I've got my sleeping bag, got my pillow, just running it diagonally on the floor. Put all my gear up the front here to create room. I reckon that's gonna do the job. We'll soon find out. Look at this, I'm looking directly up at the moon. Hang on. How good. Not cause. Oh my goodness, guys. It's freaking raining. Midnight. We have rain. I don't really have anything to cover this. Well, apart from the rain, last night was actually pretty good. The sleeping bag stayed nice and warm. It's a little bit damp on the outside. Looked up at like midnight and it was just showering on me and there was dark clouds up above and I could see them coming from the ocean side. But um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad, so didn't get wet or anything. I was a little worried for a moment because I didn't really have anything in the boat to cover to cover the the sleeping setup in case it started raining really heavy. All right, let's uh, let's jump up and get this boat organised.
have a coffee and then I'm gonna go for a fish. Try and get a few fish, all good as a flat and all trip. Just shows you man, like sometimes you just go and get them. Well I can't anyway. That's a fish. Oh man. Every time I think I got a good fish, this is what I got guys. Pike. Big pike. Fish, maybe? Very weird feeling fish. It's doing nothing. <laughs> Look at that. Baby. Yep, there's a fish. Wonder if it's what we're looking for. Little snapper, hopefully. Finally, it's only tiny, but we'll take that. That's a start. See, you, mate. Yep, that's a fish. Oh, we could have a better fish here. Maybe, maybe not. I think it's a squire. Wait a minute, what is that? Oh, it's a little mackerel. Ew, that's sick. <laughs> that's sick. He's pinned in the corner of the mouth, so he shouldn't, he should be right. I don't think he knew he was hooked. That's pretty cool, eh? That could be illegal macro, eh? A little schoolie. That's wicked. Something a bit different on a gulp shrimp. School mackerel. I've never eaten a school mackerel before. They've got to be 50 centimeters. I'll give him a measure, and if he goes size, I'm probably going to keep him. Yeah, he's well and truly, well and truly sized. So the nose, 60 and a bit. Awesome. How good's that? Mackerel for dinner or tomorrow? Make sure I bleed him and then put him straight on ice. Just like that. Look how much mackerel you get off one fish, one sixty centimeter mackerel. And I've got a whole plate full of fish. How good. How 
How good does that look? We've gone the sushi again. I was going to smoke the mackerel, but I don't have a smoker yet, so next time. But what I've done is I've just done sushi again. Bit of avocado and cucumber, a little bit of soy, a little bit of mayo, a little bit of a chip crumb. I did the chip crumb again, but this time I also did batter. So I've got batter underneath the chip crumb, so it's extra crunchy. How good that looks. Mm. It's delicious. Mm -mm. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. It wasn't that good on the fishing front, but still an awesome couple of days. See you guys soon on another mission.